Hey, this is JB Flip's channel. Welcome to my cluttered basement. Let's check out what I sold this week. One dollar! Welcome fellow tre treasure hunters, resellers, hustlers, and today I'm giving a shout out to the, you garbage pickers out there because you know there's treasure everywhere and it can always be found. I'll quickly be going over what items I sold this week. Uh, first item was Bad Santa Blu-ray. I actually got that item for free at a garage sale. It was a garage sale. We got that there when it was ending and they were just giving away what they had free and that was one of the items I picked up. I sold that uh, for a dollar ninety nine plus four twenty shipping cost me about three twenty five to ship, but I'm okay with that because the item was free. Uh, I also sold a vintage Ritz tin. Uh, it's an old tin that they used to uh, put Ritz crackers in, and I've actually got that at a Savers for three dollars. That sold for eight dollars and ninety nine cents plus buyer paying four dollars and ninety nine cents shipping. Uh, I also think I made a little bit of money on shipping with that as well. Um, I also sold a handheld massager. I paid $5 for that item and I actually sold it just today for $49.99 free shipping. I also sold, uh, this is a cool find that I found, found an old beat up uh, set of catcher's gear. It was the, the chest pad. And also the leg protectors. There was missing a helmet, but I only paid one dollar for that. I actually $1. probably squeezed more out of this purchase, but I sold it for forty nine ninety nine because I got the item so low. I let it go for that. Uh, catcher's gear like that is probably worth more, closer to like ninety dollars. And I, I'm sure I could have sold it if I would have been patient and waited, but I only had it here for a week and it sold right away. So a big heavy item like that, I'm happy to get it out of my basement and you know make some room for new inventory uh the next item was i sold my donkey kong nes game it was another it was part of that lot that my brother gave me and they're putting me in charge of selling that uh that sold for i think 16.99 uh free shipping so a tad under the actual value of the game uh i also sold this was a cool thing because uh i sold some Yu-Gi-Oh cards so back in the day my friend had a set of Exodia. He started meeting girls a little bit before I did, and he needed date money and sold me his Exodia set for $30. And it was, you know, practically brand new mint condition. And being a kid, I kept it in its sleeves, kept it well protected. It's pretty close to near mint condition. I sold that set for $100. Back in the day, I could have, probably could have gotten $500 for it, but... I still loved Yu-Gi-Oh cards when I was a kid and I held on to them, but it's still a come up there. Uh, the last item I'll be going over is I sold a food saver. Uh, it's one of those, you know, things that, you know, vacuum seal your food for you and you can put it in the freezer. Uh, I bought that for $7 at a garage sale. I sold it for $35 plus buyer paying $12.30 shipping. Um, I actually made 10 cents off of shipping because it cost me 12 20 to ship. Uh, thanks for liking uh, the video in advance. Please like and subscribe, I should say. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you next week.